Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live stream. So, um, for this semester, I will try to do a live stream every Tuesday around this time for like um, some couple questions for you guys. Today's topic is that we are going to solve eight equations that involves um, Lambert W function, right? So let's just get right into it. And of course, you guys can try the questions in the description, right? The files in the in description. And here we go. But before I do any of the equations, let me just write down the things that we are supposed to know first, right? So here are some of the things that we must know before we can actually talk about any of the equations. First, you have to know that if we have a function f of x is equal to x times e to the x, well, the inverse of this is precisely the Lambert w function. So that is what we have. And let me give you guys a better marker. Hold on one sec. All right, let me try this one. All right, so this right here is just the inverse of that. And the theory is that for this, unfortunately, it does not pass the horizontal line test. So you have to restrict the domain in order to have inverse. So for this one, oh, this is even worse. Let me see. All right, brand new marker. Anyway. For this one, we have to restrict domain in order to have inverse, and the domain is that we have to have x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And for this right here, the domain for it is x is greater than or equal to negative 1 over e. And the reason is because when x is negative 1, you put it here, you get negative 1 over e. So that will be the domain for the inverse, right? So these are the main things, and of course, we also have to talk about the properties. Two things we have to know. The first is, if we have the Lambert W function of x times e to the x. Uh, yes, I'm not drawing fish for today. Anyway, though, this right here will give us x. But we have to remember that this only works if x is in the correct domain, which you have to refer to here, which is x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Lastly, if you put this in here and here, we end up with w of x times e to the w of x. Well, because you're just composite, Two, in, two functions that they are inverse of each other. Of course, you end up with x as well. And pay attention to the domain, which is x is greater than or equal to negative 1 over e. All right? So if you're comfortable with this, then the rest of the questions shouldn't be too bad. All right? So we are going to leave this on the board. And before we start, I want to give a big shout out to um, Hello, it's me. All right? um, I'm going to just write this down right here. Because he is the person who helped me to who gave me all these questions. So yeah, he actually gave me 100 questions with Lambert W functions. But today we will just do eight, and I picked these eight questions because they all involve um, Lambert W functions. And I don't think I've shown you guys equations with W of x. So uh, that's what we are gonna do. And hopefully one day when I have time and when I figure out all the 100 questions, I will do the 100 questions in one day. But anyway, though, thank you so much for sending me the questions. I really like, uh, I really like them. Like them. All right. So here we go. Are you guys ready? Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming, especially now uh, some more people just came. So that's good. All right. So are we good to go? Yeah. Brendan, calc midterm in one hour. Best of luck to you. The Brian Rio, hello. Uh, I'm not sure if I know you in person. If you, if we do know each other, then let me know. Okay, so here we go. We have eight questions to work out. First one, we are going to solve w of w of x, and we are to make this equal to one. All right. I'm pretty sure some of you guys know the answer already because you guys tried it beforehand, right? That's excellent. So this is how I will go about this. So I'm going to just show you guys what are the things that we are going to do. Of course, we want to get rid of the w. And to do so, you can just actually get rid of that. right? But you have to pay attention to what's happening on the right-hand side. Here we have 1. Once you get rid of the w, you just put the inside down right here. And what you will do is you put this in front of the e, and then 
to the power of e, like that. Why? Refer back to that again, right? Refer back to that again. And this right here is how we are going to get rid of the w. It's very similar to the following. Check this out. When you have ln of x, if you have this is equal to, let's say, um, 2, you can get rid of the ln, but you have to make sure that you put a 2 right here. Where? e to the second power. You put that in the exponent, right? So on the other hand, if you have w of x, it's equal to 2. What x e to the x? What you do is, well, you get rid of that. x will be 2 in front and then 2 in the exponent. So that's how we are going to get rid of the w of x. So that's pretty much the, the key for all these eight questions. If you know it, then these questions aren't too bad, but you might feel uncomfortable at first because I think all these questions are rather new to you guys. All right, so have a look. This right here is, of course, just equal to e. It needs no introduction. So that's nice. So the next one is, of course, we are going to get rid of the w, and we are going to put down the x right here, and have a look. I will put this e in front of the e, and I also put this e in the exponent. Well, because the, this is e to the e, and this is e to the first, you can combine, every, combine them together, you get x is equal to e to the e plus 1. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the first answer. Right? Alright, so... So far, so good. And I'll also be looking at the chat to see that there's no spam or inappropriate comments. If there is, I will take action, of course. Right? All right. So far, so good. Now, let's move on to the next one. Okay. For the next one, we have the Lambert W function that's equal to natural log of 2x. Okay, so I'll turn to you guys and I'll ask you guys what you will do with this. Anybody know the answer? Or anybody would like to tell me what the first step is? I think I got it from that one guy. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what we did earlier. We are going to get rid of the Lambert W function, right? And to do so, you just have to pay attention to the right-hand side. And this right here, yes, I know we have a function, but we are going to do it the same way. Have a look right here. This is x equals, you put this in front, right in front of an e, and then you also put that in the exponent of the e. And the best part right here is that this and that cancel each other out. So technically, you just have x. It's equal to, let me put this down right here as how it is, ln of 2x. And then this is just nicely equal to 2x. Right? So that's what we have. Now, we have to do this slightly carefully. Here we have x, and here we have x. Well, if you refer back to the original equation, we have ln of 2x. So this right here tells us that x cannot be equal to zero because originally you have the natural log function and natural log of zero is not defined. So you know x is not equal to zero because of this. So right here, you can happily divide both sides by x because again, x is not equal to zero. So you are just pretty much looking at this as one is equal to two times that. So I will write this down first. So it's just two ln of two x is equal to one. Now we can just do the rest of the things. The usual way, divide both sides by 2, right? And then e to both sides, and divide both sides by 2 again. So all in all, I'll just show you. x is equal to, divided by 2, so we have 1 half. But you do e, so we have e to the 1 half. And then divide this right here, so we have 1 half right here. So ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to 1 half e to the 1 half power. And this is the only answer x is not an answer because x, I mean, x is not zero, and um, zero is not an answer. So that's it, right? Right, I'm looking at you guys to see. Let me get some confirmation. If we are good, then let me know. So we are, 
Good to go. All right, nice to hear. All right, how do we move the 2x to the front? Well, because e and natural log cancel, so we just get the 2x right here. So 2x is just this right here. Yeah, and this right here is still the ln of 2x. So that's why. So if you, yeah, if you put w, right, if you just put w of x, right, yeah, very good observation by, let's see who it was, by Jeremy. Notice, if you look at this right here, if you do the, do the number w function on both sides, you actually see w of x is just equal to, and because this and that are the same, so it's just going to be one half. Yeah, it's a really, uh, interesting situation I will say right because originally you have the natural log and in the end you actually have this so yeah all right anyway this is number two like these questions they don't take too long but uh, you just have to kind of get used to how to work with Lambert W function all right number three I'm going by the order from the file, not the thumbnail, right? Because for the thumbnail, I just wanted to make it look good. So that's why uh, I kind of arranged the order. But anyway, here we have Lambert W function on the left-hand side, Lambert W function of e to the x power. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to put the x on the outside. So we have w of e and then to the x power. This right here is actually very, uh, well, I don't want to say tricky, but it is kind of tricky. and. Uh, it's actually, once you see, you see it, right? So, turn to you guys, let me know what you guys get. Yeah. So again, I have my laptop over here, that's why. Maybe next time I'll try to set up the laptop right here so that I can still face you guys. All right, anybody has any thoughts? So Einstein Gonzalez x is equal to one. Baby G and Nintendo Gainer, okay. All right, and a lot of other people are saying one as well. All right, and if you don't see your comments uh, in the chat, because there are so many symbols, so I think the chat just kind of automatically uh, blocks it for now, but if I'm, if I see it's a legitimate comment, I will uh, make it show in the chat, right? So, yeah, but uh, if I cannot, if I don't see your comments in time, then I'm sorry about that. I need to have some like moderators to help me, but I can, yeah, I don't have that anyway. Anyway, here's the deal. This right here might be too bizarre, but like this right here is actually not so bad. W of E, check this out. You can put a one in front, you can put a one right here. So W of E is actually just equal to one. So here, we actually just get w of e to the x, and that's equal to, this is just equal to one, and then to the x power, and this is the solid one, so one to the x power, of course we're talking about just real, real stuff. So this is always equal to one, in another word, just get w of e up to the x, this right here is just equal to one, right? And then we'll do what we did earlier, get rid of that, and just look at this one right here, and we'll put this down first, this one goes in front and goes to the exponent. And now you can see that we have e to the x is equal to just e. So you can take the natural log on both sides or whatsoever. You will just see that x is equal to one. That's it. And of course, if you put one for x, of course it clearly works. And in fact, that's the only solution for this. Right? So that's that. All right, so I should have asked you guys to see if you guys have any questions, but like, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's just instinct that I raised the board, but it, it, it wasn't too bad. All right. All right, number four. We have one plus W of E squared minus one times X, and then that's equal to E squared, all right? Cool, right, so let's see, 
Let's see how we can make this happen. And the idea is that, of course, we are trying to see how to solve equations with lambda w functions, so we should isolate that part, and then we can just do what we did earlier, right? So that's minus the one on both sides, and we are looking at this as w of e squared minus one times x, and then this is equal to e squared minus one, all right? So far, so good. And then we can just do what we did earlier, so you can cancel out the w, and just focus on the right-hand side. Put the inside down first, which is e squared minus one times x, and you make this equal to, well, you put this in the front, which is e squared minus one, and then you multiply by e, and then you put this in the exponent, which is e squared minus one. Now, e squared minus one, this is just a number, and we know this is, of course, not equal to zero. So, when we have this times x and this times that, we can just cancel these two out, right? So cancel them out. And we're done. <laughs> x is equal to, we have that, which is e to the e squared minus one. So this right here is the answer for it. All right, so this right here, not so bad. As I told you, once you see how to get rid of the Lambert W function, um, the question becomes, the, the questions become more manageable, I would say, right? Okay, so continue. Here is number five. Let me see what we have. Number five, you have to do it slightly carefully, but I will tell you guys what we are going to do, right? So we have w of 9x minus 7 times e to the w of 9x minus 7, and all in all, this is equal to negative 1 over e. All right. Do you know what's going on on the left-hand side? What do we get on the left-hand side? Yes, w goes away, because you see that we have this right here. w of x times e to the w of x. When this and that are the same, of course, this right here is just equal to x. But you have to notice one thing. On the right-hand side, we do have negative 1 over e, which is actually legitimate, right? Because remember that in order for this to be true, you have to make sure that x is greater than or equal to negative 1 over e. If this is negative 2, negative 3, negative 5, then unfortunately this is not going to work out, right? I don't think this is going to work out the way it's going to be. So, uh, be really careful with the domain and all that stuff. But anyway though, this right here, all we get is just by that, we just get 9x minus 7, and that's equal to negative 1 over e. That's it, right? And then of course we can just solve the equation. The break of the way, so add the 7 on both sides, so I have 9x equals 7 minus 1 over e, and then divide everybody by 9, so x is equal to 7, uh, let's do it like this, let's do it like this, 7 over 9 minus 1 over 9e, alright, that's it, takes like 3 lines, yeah, because this and that are the same, so they just, uh, you, you just get the input back, so. And again, the x value is legit. Um, yeah, right? I think I might say something wrong. I, I think I said, if this is equal to negative two or negative three, it's not going to work. But like, what I'm trying to say is that in order to get the x back, x has to be greater than equal to that, right? So this raw value, it does work. It does work. So just, just look at that. All right. Number six. All right, uh, somewhat of a crazier one. W of e to the e squared plus 
1 plus x to the x power. Okay? And then on the right hand side, we have x to the x power. Yeah. So for all these kind of questions, I think the best part is that the cancellations. Yeah, the cancellations are really, really satisfying. So let's go ahead and just do what we did earlier. Get rid of the w. And we're going to put on the left hand side, which is e, e squared plus 1 plus x to the x power. And then the right hand side, which we have the x to the x power. Well, put that in the front. And then put that in the exponent, just like that. And now, check this out. On the left hand side, we have what? We can break down the exponents. We can look at this as e to the e to the second power plus 1 times. This is the same as saying e to the x to the x power. And then on the right hand side, we have just x to the x, e to the x to the x. Well, notice this and that are the same. And the most important thing is that you have to mention that e to the e to the x. So e to the x to the x, this right here is never equal to zero. Thus, you can just get rid of them on both sides. So we're focusing on this, it's equal to that. So allow me to write down the x to the x first. We like to have the x on the left hand side. And then this is equal to e to the e to the second power plus one. And now we just have to solve this, which is very similar to what we'll do just like this question, right, on the t-shirt. So what we'll do first is just take the natural log on both sides. So you can see that, get rid of that, and then put the x to the front. So here we have x times ln of x, and that's equal to just that, which is e squared plus 1, like that. Now, to solve this equation, hmm, you can see that we have x times ln x. We have x inside and outside. But don't worry too much, because if you look at x, we actually can use Lambert W function to solve this equation. How? You have to remember that if we have this and that being the same, and e like right here, then we can just take the Lambert W function, right? Well, to make that happen, we are going to purposely look at x as e to the ln x power, because of course they cancel, right? And now we'll put this ln x in the front. So let me just write that down right here. And we still have the right hand side, which is e squared plus 1. Now, here's the best part. This and that are the same now. So you can just take the Lambert W function on both sides. And of course, on the left hand side, we just get ln of x, namely just that. And then on the right hand side, we have all this, which is w of e squared plus 1. Man, I ran out of space. But of course, one more thing is to get rid of the natural log. We just do e to the power on both sides. So I will just write this down here. x is equal to e to the w of e squared plus 1. Like that. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the final answer. Uh, just ran out of the space a little bit. But uh, we can still see this okay, right? So have a look. Have a look, have a look, have, have a look, have a look. All right. So it looks like a lot of you guys are enjoying this so far because of the new kind of equations, huh? And this one is pretty cool, I would say. All right, so take a look. And one question is, how can we evaluate Lambert W functions? Well, most likely we'll just have to use the approximations. You can do Newton's approximations method. So that's one of the things. And I did talk about how to do that in the Lambert W function video. The video is in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Right? And a lot of viewers, they have told me that it seems kind of like cheating that we put W of this, right? But that's actually the same as when you write that ln of, let's say, 3. Same thing, right? 
So again, I discussed all this in my number W function video, so go ahead and check that out. All right, so erase that. Two more questions. The last one is perhaps the trickiest one. And let's see how number seven is going to treat us. All right, so number seven. Here we have w of e to the x plus 1, and this is equal to x plus 1. You know, this question is kind of like, man, it's a, it's a very nice design question. Because imagine if you have ln of e to the x plus 1, that's equal to x plus 1. This right here, you can just cancel it out, and this is actually always true, right? But we don't have ln, we actually have w. So, hmm. Very nice. Let's take a look. You know, just don't worry. Get rid of the W and focus on what we have on the right hand side and do exactly what we did. So here you can see that we have e to the x plus 1. Just make that equal to x plus 1. And then you multiply this by e and you put the x plus 1 in the exponent as well. Like so. What's next? As you can see, this and that are the same, and the, main, the most important thing is that they are never equal to zero, so you can just divide this out. So I would just say, because e to the x plus one, it's never equal to zero, so we can legitimately do that. So in another word, we just have to solve x plus one is equal to zero. We just have to solve x plus one is equal to one. Therefore, x is equal to 0. So in fact, that's the only answer right here. x is equal to 0, and that works. Yeah, if you put 0 here, you can see w of uh, e, that's equal to 1. So that's legitimate. So that's it for that. All right, so um, for the last one, hmm, I'm going to erase everything because I want to have more space to do the last one, All right? Just want to finish this strong, of course. So let's see. All right, number eight. Here's the deal. We have w of x plus 1 that's equal to x plus 1 squared. All right, this right here is slightly trickier. I will tell you guys that though, we have two answers. How do we know? One way to do it is, of course, look at the graph of this and look at the graph of that. You can see that we do have two intersections. So I will um, do that later. But just keep in mind we have two answers, like only two answers. Let's see if you guys get the answer for this already or not. You guys want to you know, enter that in the chat. It's your time to do it, otherwise I will do it. So I'll give you guys five seconds, five legitimate seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I was asking for the answers, the numerical answers. All right, the physicist, Cooper, you get uh, x is equal to negative 1. It's 1. That is correct. All right, negative 1 is, is one of the answers. All right, so now let's do it. First, of course, get rid of the w. So get rid of that right here. And you will see that this right here is going to be x plus 1. That's equal to this guy, which is so being red, just focus on what we have on the right hand side, which is x plus 1. And uh, you have to square that. So you put this right here, x plus 1 square, and you multiply by e, and you put this in the exponent as well, x plus 1 square. Now, here's the deal. 
You see that we have x plus 1 to the first power and this is x plus 1 to the second power. You can cancel that, yes, but you have to just write down x is equal to negative 1, right? Uh, usually, when you cancel off variables, it's not preferred because just as it, it just looks kind of wrong. So what I will do is, I'm going to put this to the left hand side and I'm going to factor out the x plus 1. So it will look like this x plus 1, so I factor it out, so here we will have 1, right? And I'll put this to the left hand side, so I will get a minus, and then I have this, but only to the first power now, and then times that, e to the x plus 1 squared, and that's equal to 0, alright? And from here, we can legitimately say that x plus 1 is equal to 0, and of course we can say x is equal to negative 1, so this is how you can come up with the solution x is equal to negative 1. And of course, we have to set this equal to 0, and <laughs> we'll just move this to the right-hand side. So oh no, from here, we are looking at the equation. Let me put this down first, which is parentheses x plus 1, and then e x plus 1 squared, that's equal to 1, right? So if you want to be slightly more legitimate, uh, Instead of cancel that out, you, you show, show work by factoring. So I think that was pretty good. Now, here's a small trouble. You see that right here, we don't have a 2. Because if we do, we can just take the Lambert W on both sides. That's too bad. But don't worry, let's produce the 2 right here. We need a 2 right here in the exponent, so we will have to just raise both sides to the second power. All right? Raise both sides to the second power. Now remember, we have this times that to the second power, so you put a power right here first, so we are looking at this as x plus 1 squared, that's good. But the second part is that we have this to the second power, but we have this power right here already, it's okay. Just multiply the powers together, so this power goes right here, so we have e, and then we have the 2 right here, and then we have the x plus 1 squared. And you know the best part is that the right hand side is just equal to 1. Now, this and that match, however, we have the 2. We need a 2 right here. Don't worry, if we need a 2, just multiply both sides by 2. So let's just multiply this by 2 and 2. So perhaps I will just put this down. Multiply by 2 and multiply by 2. Yeah, let's just write it down like this. So let me write this down all over again. You will see that we get 2 x plus 1 square and then e and then this is actually the same now 2x plus 1 square and of course the right hand side is just 2. Now what's so good about this? Yes, we can take the Lambert W function on both sides. To me, I find it really fascinating because originally we start with Lambert W function and then throughout the process we have to use Lambert W function to solve. So I think that's Really, really cool. All right. Now, on the left-hand side, we'll just get this right here. So we have 2x plus 1 squared. And on the right-hand side, we have w of 2. This is almost like the text form, right? But no, not real text form. Anyway, this right here, keep in mind, this is just a number. So we can just solve this the regular way. Divide both sides by 2 and all that. So when I divide both sides by 2, I get x plus 1 squared equals w of 2 over 2, and do the usual business, take the square root on both sides, get rid of this, but don't forget the plus or minus, and then we we'll just have x plus 1 on the left hand side, put a 1 to the right, so we get x equals negative 1, and uh, don't forget the plus or minus, square root of w of 2 over 2. Okay, now here is the deal. Didn't I tell you guys that we have two solutions? but it seems like we are getting three. Of course, something's wrong. Well, I shouldn't say it's wrong. Something's extra, something's fake, something's extraneous. Which one though? Well, this is the time that we should talk about the graphs. I think it's just much easier to see. So the, let me show you guys the graph for this right here real quick. It needs no introduction, it's just a parabola open up, and the vertex is at negative one comma zero. So here is x plus 1 squared, yeah? And then if you look at w of x plus 1, w 
looks kind of like natural log, but it doesn't have the vertical isotope. Well, I will tell you the, the graph looks something like this. And of course, it's being pushed to the left one unit. So it looks like this. Sorry, it should be like this and then that, somewhat like this. So you have an intersection here, and you can also see that they have intersection at x is equal to negative 1. And we got that over there already. All right? So if you see the graph, then you can see that this answer has to be greater than negative 1. Well, even though I didn't calculate w of 2, but you see negative 1 minus this, it has to be less than negative 1. So I will just tell you we rule out. Uh, let me see if I can fit in this negative 1 minus w, square root of w of 2 over 2. Uh, because you can see that, uh, well, because of that, so <laughs> I'm not going to just, I'm going to, I'm not going to write that down. So just rule that out so you just get rid of this. So the second answer is just x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of w of 2 all over 2. Like this. So ladies and gentlemen, first answer and also the second answer. All right? And you might be wondering why do we have an extra solution? Well, you just have to be careful that whenever you square both sides, you might be ending up with an extra solution. Then it happened right here again. All right? So whenever you square both sides, you always have to double check and sometimes you just have to uh, recently out or rule out the extra one. Just like this. All right? So, take a look and let me know if you guys have any quick questions. All right, so I have a I see a really nice equation. Um, so a question from the chat. Uh, somebody's asking, how can we solve x to the x to the x is equal to some number a? Um, honestly, I don't know. I tried it before. In fact, I have a video solving x to the x to the x is equal to 2. But uh, I don't think we can use the Lambert W function to solve it. Um, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But again, as I said, I am not sure. If you do know the answer to how to do this, let me know. Well, maybe um, you have you guys have seen the following. Again, I'm not sure how to solve this with the Lambert W function, but I do know that there's a special function that we can use to solve this. This right here, of course, it's the same as saying x with a superpower three, right? Or well, hyperpower three. That's equal to some number a. And what we can do is take the supercube root. I don't know the notation for this. So I'm just going to write that down. So you just pretty much do the super cute root on both sides. Uh, let me just write it down better because I want to finish this with this little nice touch. So you just do the super. By the way, I am not making this up. I do have a video on the super square root. So you can go ahead and check that out. And the best part is, of course, the super cute root and this Cancel out. Let me just cancel this down nicely. So you get x is equal to the super cube root of a. Yeah, but I know you might not be too satisfied with this answer, but uh, it's rather legitimate, I would say. Yeah. All right, so that's the live stream for today. Cheers, everybody. I will have another live stream next week, and uh, I will see what we will do. I am planning to do some AP calculus questions live, and um, yeah, I will let you guys know. All right, bye.